Donald Turner. Our next couple recited their vows 15 months ago, Candy and Abel Alvarez. This couple traded rings two months ago, Lisa Marie and Leo Perez. And our final couple celebrated their union two months ago, Tamara and Dana Shin. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Hey! Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. We have four delightful couples today. You ready to play the game? Yeah! Then you know what, ladies? Do me a big favor. Go off, if you would, to our soundproof room. And while you're doing that, you may leave now. Sure. And gentlemen, in round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you chalk up five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the girls are gone. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, which of these hot babe names will your wife say does the most to elevate your spirit and spark your interest? Muffy, <laughs> Raven, Candy, or Kitten? Which one, uh, which one elevates your spirit and sparks your interest? Uh, Dana? <laughs> it has to be Muffy. Muffy does. Yeah, because that's, <laughs> I nickname um, uh, her. My, right, her okay, Abel? Muffy. <laughs> uh, would, would it be Muffy, say... Raven, Candy, or Kitten? I would have to say uh, probably Candy. Candy, oh. that does it's it for her... you, huh? Yep. Okay, Donald. Uh, it would have to be, uh... Kitten Bob. Kitten Bob. No, it's just kitten. <laughs> just kitten Bob. Bob's not in here. All right. And I don't want to be in there either. I don't you know. <laughs> Leo, would it be a Muffy, Raven, Candy, or Kitten? I'd have to say Candy. Candy. All right, next question, gentlemen. If your wife overheard some people describing something about her as gigantic, exactly what part of her will she say they were talking about? <laughs> Abel? Um, I would have to say, uh, without a doubt, her uh, chest. Her chest. It's for uh, gigantic. Yeah. Okay. Donald? Uh, her forehead, Bob. Her forehead. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love her, but uh, yeah. the uh, the you know the noggin is just it's just there, Bob. It's her forehead, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I've noticed that my forehead keeps getting bigger as time goes on, I think. <laughs> forehead. Leo. I'd have to say her chest. Her chest. Yeah. Gigantic. Gigantic. Yeah. You'll see. Yeah, we, you don't have to show us. We don't. Have to <laughs> Dana. Uh, right now, definitely, it'd have to be her stomach. Her stomach is gigantic. Yeah. She's, got a, she's having a baby. Oh, good. She's pregnant. So. All right. <laughs> it's not like he's the first one ever to become a father for crying out <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Whose past love life comes up in conversations between you most often? Yours or your wife's? Donald? Uh, mine, Bob. Your past love life? Uh, yeah, I was a kind of a roof roof back in the day. <laughs> kind of a what, sir? Kind of a roof roof, a little dog, just. Oh, a roof yeah. roof? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, I don't so think I you think were a little dog. Up, uh, no, not dog little, wanna... my, my past comes up a lot. So. Is that right? Yeah, it comes well, up a lot. Congratulations. Uh? Yeah. Leo? I'd say my wife. She, your she wife's was, past yeah. love life. We yeah, bring that up a lot. She, yeah, she was. Okay, Dana? Um, I would have to say. Look at that belt mine. buckle, man. It looks like a hubcap on a pickup truck. <laughs> Close to it. <laughs> hey, you could have breakfast on that sucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your answer? It's definitely mine. I have a couple of ex wives from hell. Oh, you did? <laughs> okay, Abel? Uh, I, would say, I would have to say myself. Yours, yours. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite these movie guys. And we'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Costumed in seas in famous names. I'm Vincent Price. Fill y'all's TVs and haunt your games. Halloween chills and thrills starts October 29th only on Boozer.
welcome back to the Newlywed King. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. Boy, did we find out interesting things about you while you were gone, <laughs> girls. If you're ready, ladies, first question. Which of these hot babe names would you say does the most to elevate your husband's spirit and spark his interest? Hot babe names. Would it be Raven, Candy, Kitten, or Muffy? Lisa Marie? I'd have to say Raven. Raven would spark his interest, huh? Yes. Hey, you know what he said? He said he sparked by Candy. Oh. <laughs> candy? I mean, candy. You always see him kind of. Peaches! <laughs> I was I'm asking Raven, Candy, <laughs> Kitten, and Muffy, and her name's Peaches. <laughs> I would say Candy, because I'm addicted to Candy, and he knows that. So how Candy to get would me spark going. his interest, all I right? He predicted candy. you would say that he sparked with a kitten. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Candy. My name is Peaches. That's closer to Candy. A kitten you yeah. can rub on. <laughs> oh. yeah. Well, Peaches has fuzz. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, we we'll talk about, you know, doing a lot of uh, research here. Uh, Candy, what would you say your answer is? Um, I know what it better be, and my name is Candy, so it better be Candy. He said it better be Candy, yeah. <laughs> I figured I'd take the safe route there. Yeah, you were real safe, pal. Yeah. yeah. If you'd have said peaches, you might have been in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Tambra. Yes. I think I would have to say Raven. Raven's going to spark his yeah. interest. Raven? Yeah, no. What's the pet name for the Muffy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Muffy, yeah. No. Uh, oh, oh, my goodness. You should have. Awesome. I know. Oh, well, yeah. there's lots of different names. <laughs> yeah, can we go on to our next question now? Yeah. Ladies? <laughs> ladies, if you overheard some people describing something about you as gigantic, Exactly what part of you would you say that they were talking about? Peaches? Oh, gigantic? Yeah. I'd have to say my forehead. Forehead. <laughs> he predicted you would say, card please. Donald, what'd you say? Forehead, yeah. That's why I always have the babe. Well, I love her though, Bob, I love her. You know, well, of course big you love forehead. Her. She's a beautiful and, uh, woman. <laughs> I mean, your forehead's going to get bigger yeah, as time goes on. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Raven? Uh, candy? Uh, Peaches? Uh, <laughs> Did my name Kitten? Uh, Muffy? <laughs> Just answer to anything, would you please? Okay. Um, well, they look kind of smashed right here, but probably my chest. Your chest. Yeah. All right. He predicted you would say probably it would be your chest. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Tamara? Well... Normally, I would say my chest, but seeing as I'm say? pregnant, my stomach. Your stomach. He predicted you would say, your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa Marie. That's an easy one for me. My boobs. <laughs> my well, I didn't know what Bob. side she's going. Did you go? <laughs> boobs. All right. He predicted you would say it would be your chest. Yes, you got it. <laughs> All right, next question, ladies. Ladies, whose past love life would your husband say comes up in conversation between you most often? Would it be your past love life or your husband's past love life? Comes up in conversation, Candy, most often. In conversation most often, yeah. it has to be his because he dated everybody that we worked with before he got to me. <laughs> he dated everybody at work? Everybody at work. He dated everybody. I didn't know about it before I yeah. started dating him or I probably wouldn't have, but Boy. yeah. He made his rounds. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what kind of business was this? It was a department store. Oh, really? So he, he would take him in the back. Oh, he'd take yeah. him in the back. <laughs> oh, man. Checking out the stock, huh, big guy? All right. Oh, you devil, you. All right. Abel said that uh, it would be his love life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tambra. Absolutely his love life. Really? How come? Just the exes. Right now we are the going... The exes? Yes. You know, he's got that big old belt buckle. You know what and you call girls that follow guys that wear belt buckles? They're buckle, <laughs> they're buckle bunnies. Did you know that? <laughs> so you're telling me he had a lot of buckle bunnies? Yes. Really? Yes. Are you a buckle bunny? A lot of, no, I'm permanent. You're what? <laughs> I'm permanent. <laughs> oh, you're permanent. I ain't going I anywhere. All right. So it'd be his love life. That's right. He predicted you would say it's his love life. Yeah. <laughs>
Lisa Marie. I'd have to say Leo's past love life. Really? Kind of pretty, uh, pretty extensive, was it? Um, I, more humorous than mine. Oh, more humorous, <laughs> yeah. I see. His ex-girlfriends were All a right. little funny. His girl, ex-girlfriends were funny? Yeah. Hmm. Leo said that most of the time the conversation comes up, we're talking about uh, uh, your love life, oh. Lisa. Who's always arguing about? We always talk about your no, funny-looking girlfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I would say his love life. What's, did he pretty pretty extensive? No, I just think we're still feeling the consequences. So he was in the service. He was in the military. So I think his in love every life. port kind of thing. <laughs> <I think so. laughs> no kidding, you rascal, you Donald. Hey, 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 Donald said for sure it would be uh, his. Yeah, you got it. All right, we'll be back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. Happy Buzzer Birthday to game show announcer Gene Wood. And welcome back, everybody. Ladies, your husbands are now secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, these are the big guys because you're so smart. These are the 10 point questions. Tell me, ladies, what part of your husband's body will he say is so perfect that it should be featured in a museum? Candy? He would probably say. His arms. His arms are that yeah. perfect. All right. He thinks, well, he thinks they're perfect. But they're not, really. No, no I didn't think no. so. Peaches. I would probably say his butt. His butt. <laughs> the museum of butts. Okay. Lisa Marie. My husband has great legs. His legs? His legs are perfect. Really? Okay. Uh, Tambra? 
I'd have to say his legs. He's always talking about his tree trunk legs. His legs, okay. <laughs> Next question, ladies. The last time you and your husband made love, in which compass direction will he say your toes were pointing? <laughs> Peaches? I'd have to say north. North. <laughs> which way is that? That's up. Oh, I see. <laughs> Lisa Marie. I'm going to say south. South. Down south. Okay. <laughs> Tambra. Um, south. South. Yeah. Really? Candy. We're going to go ahead and go with south. What's this wee stuff? You got a frog in your pocket? What are you talking about? <laughs> south. Okay, last of our 10 point questions. Ladies, if you created a perfume that smelled like your husband's last girlfriend, what will he say you would call that perfume? Lisa Marie? Smells um, like his last girlfriend. What, what, what are you going to call that perfume? Musty. Musty. Okay. <laughs> Tambra? Uh, smelly. Smelly. <laughs> Candy? Psycho. Psycho. Peaches? Stinky. Stinky. Okay, 25 point bonus question. Ladies, what was the last physical exercise your husband will say he performed in your bedroom? Last physical exercise, Tambra? Okay. Um, what did he do? Jumping jacks. He did jumping jacks. Thank you. Candy? Push ups. He did push ups. Peaches? I'm going to go with push ups. Push ups. Lisa Marie? I'm going to have to say push ups too. Push ups too. Yeah. All right, ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the new web game right after these messages. Daytime is playtime with our most popular shows. Every day you must watch. Weekdays starting at noon Eastern, only on Buzzer. game. All of our couples have scored points. Let's see how many more they can get because, gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Gentlemen, what part of your body did, uh, would you say is so perfect that it should be featured in a museum? What part of your body is so perfect, Donald, it should be featured in a museum? Bob, you know, um, when I retire, I think it needs to be put on parade. My butt. 
Proud to say my butt, Bob. You Proud to say my butt. Your butt, Bob. I've, I've okay. A... Peaches said it would be uh, your butt, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> be a big museum out there. <laughs> Abel! Um, I actually don't think it's much, but uh, she's always talking about my biceps, so I would have to Your biceps, my biceps, all right. Yeah. She predicted you would say it would be your arms. Yeah, <laughs> you got them. Well, Dana, what do you think your wife said? It speaks for itself. Definitely the butt, Bob. The butt, all right. <laughs> she said it's definitely your hairy old legs. Oh, no! <laughs> hey! You always talk about Don't your hit leg. a mother to be. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you always talk about your I thought legs you liked my butt. Big. Well, I, no, do. I thought that's why she married me. No, she doesn't. <laughs> I got a nice butt, Bob. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> now I'm hurt. <laughs> oh. Wow, Leo, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right. That's okay, yeah. yeah. What do you think, Leo? I'd have to say, I'm going to say my nose. Your nose, let me see. Nose? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your nose ought to be put in a museum. Yeah. Perfect. A museum for your nose? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lisa Marie said, uh, no, it would be your legs that His need to be put in the museum. Favorite. Yeah, legs. She said you have perfect legs. You always talk about my nose, though. How... But we're talking about the perfect part, not the worst part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you turn sideways, Lisa? Uh huh. This is what I figured. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. The last time you and your wife made love, in which compass direction would you say her toes were pointing? Abel? Um, I would say north. North? Yeah. Okay. North? north? What compass are you using? <laughs> South. South. Bottom. <laughs> no, but the way the bed is. <laughs> she can ask now, wait a minute. How the bed which, was. which way is south? From here, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> My direction finder was definitely going north, so her toes were going south. Yes! She said south. <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> Leo, th this is not every time. This is the last time you and your wife made love. In which compass direction would you say her toes were pointing? North. North? Mm-hmm. North, like to Bakersfield? <laughs> Uh, yeah, north. I think Bakersfield. I don't know. Which way. Yeah, north. I don't know what yeah, direction we're in. Which way is north from here? Uh, I think that way. Oh, that way. <laughs> Up there. Okay. She said her toes were pointing south. He wasn't paying attention to my toes, obviously. Well, it's true. <laughs> Donald, this is your chance to pick up some points. South. South. She said her toes were going. North. Oh. North. North. Sweet. Up. 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 North. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wasn't in the bed with me. Next question. <laughs> Gentlemen, if your wife created a perfume that smelled like your last girlfriend, what would you say she would call that perfume? Dana, it smells like oh, your last oh, no. girlfriend. I don't know if I can say this on TV. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor, say something you can say on TV then. Can I say? <laughs> hey. Bitch number three, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> number three, you can say. Number one, you can't say, okay? okay. She said, she, no, it'd be called smelly. <laughs> smelly. Oh, good answer. I yeah. wanted to say that too, but. What do you call her? I, did, I know, but I didn't know if I could say that on this TV. This isn't going to be on TV, is it? No, huh? No, this is... <laughs> Leo, right she's you. developing a perfume, and she's going to name it after your last girlfriend. What's she going to call it? Ugly perfume. Ugly! She said she would call it... Musty. Musty. <laughs> yeah. Donald! Um, skunk Bob. Skunk Bob! Skunk Bob. All right. She said she'd call it... Stinky! No, it's close, no. but it doesn't work. No. <laughs> I mean, his feet are stinky. Yeah. Abel. Um, I would have to go with uh, funky, probably. Funky, all right. Funky. Yeah, no, she said she would call that perfume psycho. <laughs> all right, before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer. You're going to beautiful Jamaica. <laughs> 
You'll stay at Beaches, the ultra all-inclusive active resort for everyone, singles, families, and couples, too. Part of the Sandals Resort family, these island paradises offer luxurious accommodations, gourmet dining, entertainment for adults and kids, and so much more. Beaches, where everything is included for everyone. And round-trip airfares provided by Air Jamaica, non-stop champagne flights on the newest fleet in the Caribbean. Red carpet check-in and complimentary beverages on every flight. Air Jamaica, back to you, Bob. All right, John, thank you very much. Let's find out who's going to Jamaica, man. 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what was the last physical exercise you performed in your bedroom? I'm looking for a traditional physical exercise you performed <laughs> in your bedroom. Let's go to couple number one. Leo and Lisa Maria, 525 and give you 30. What's your answer, Leo? Push-ups. Push-ups. She predicted you would say push-ups. Yeah. Okay. Couple number two. Donald the Peaches with 20. 25. Gives you 45. Take over the lead, Donald. Um, push-ups, Bob. Push-ups. She said it would be push-ups. <laughs> Couple four. Dana and Tamra. 20. 25. Puts you into a tie for the lead. Dana. Well, I was on the bottom, so I'd have to say sit-ups. Sit-ups. All right. She predicted you would say jumping jacks. <laughs> Couple number three, Abel and Candy with 25. 25 gives you 50. Get it right, you and your wife are going to Jamaica. Um, I'm gonna go with sit-ups. Sit-ups. She said it would be push-ups. That means at couple number two. <laughs> Darn the pizza. You're nearly what game grand prize winners. <laughs> thanks to all of our couples and thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Today's newlyweds. This couple walked down the aisle 13 months ago, Trisha and Ken Fonseca. Our next couple did the I do's 14 months ago, Sarah and Travis Halverson. This couple made it official 15 months ago, Rachel and Scott Field. And our next couple exchanged their vows 14 months ago, Sarah and Antoine Lincoln. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Hey, let's say hi to our couples. We got great couples today. You ready to play the game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The ladies, off you go into our soundproof booth, if you would, please. And gentlemen, in round one, we'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, think about this one now. This is a killer. If your wife became a stripper and created a stage name by combining the first name of a pet that she once had and the name of the street that she grew up on, what will she say her new name would be? Antoine? Dog Maine. <laughs> so the pet's name was Dog? It's, it's a generic pet. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dog Maine. Travis? <laughs> it would be Miss Oreo Santa Teresa. Oreo Santa Teresa. Okay. <laughs> Ken? Busty Shire. Busty Shire. <laughs> really? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Scott. you. Scott. It would be Miss Molly Parson. Miss Molly Parson. Miss Molly Parson. Okay, next question. Gentlemen, at what age exactly will your wife say the average man is at his peak? At what age, Travis? 20. 20? 20. 20. 20. Damn. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I gotta explain that. Well, I'm 20. I think I've just barely peaked. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'm 20, so, I mean, she thinks I'm at my peak now, you know? Oh, I'm when, sure, yeah. Ken? Well, Ken. 29. Thank you very much. Yeah. Scott? I'll say 25. 25, okay. Antoine? Well, based on the current situation, 30. 30! Yeah. <laughs> Getting better, guys. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If a neurosurgeon ever studied my wife's brain, I'm sure that he'd find she's missing the section that makes her enjoy what? 
She's missing the section, Ken, that makes her enjoy what? Being wrong. Being wrong. <laughs> okay, Scott? She doesn't enjoy it. So you not already, huh? Well, I'm hoping that it will. I like to wear. What, what color pumps do you want, too, Antoine? <laughs> Scott, you're a uh, cross-dresser. What outfit does she want you to wear to bring out your eyes? Her brown skirt. Brown, brown skirt. You know what she skirt. said? Oh she wants you to wear her, her G-string underwear. G-string underwear? What? It, That's the only thing I've ever seen you put on of mine. Whoop! <laughs> Hold it! I begged him to, okay? Time out! Time out. Yeah, I just want to Time out. Wait a minute. You put on her G-string underwear? Real yes. quick. Really? What do you do for a living, Scott? <laughs> no comment. Do what do you do for a no living, comment. Scott? What, what do you do? Uh, I'm in the military. Ah. <laughs> yeah. At least if we're going out, we're going out in style. You're going out in style. That's right. <laughs> okay, Ken? Her, uh... Green teddy. <laughs> she doesn't have a teddy that big. I don't big. have a green teddy. Uh oh. <laughs> what green don't teddy you? do I have? I, don't know. I have black and I have cream, but I don't have green. Oh, it's black. It's black. I'm colorblind, Bob. He yeah, you hope be. you are. That was great. Yeah. He won't, he'll be white blind. White evening dress is what she said. I'm My white evening dress. Bob. I didn't even know you had a white evening dress. Travis. You didn't. <laughs> well, Guy's got a phone number in his pocket and he doesn't, she doesn't have a green teddy. <laughs> No wonder you don't have any points, Ken. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Travis? I'm going to have to say she, she has all black dress, so I'm going to have to say a black dress. A black dress. All right, she predicted you would say it would be your black dress. Yeah. Yeah. All right, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. You're going to the Bahamas. Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino, an exciting Grand Bahama Island. Offering golf, tennis, swimming, a dazzling casino, and international entertainment. From Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino, have a wonderful second honeymoon. Back to you, Bap. All right, somebody's going to the Bahamas. Let's find out who's going to be. 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what's the octane rating of the fuel you use most often? Is it 92, 89, or 87? Couple number two, Ken and Trisha, was zero, but you get it right, and you'll be in first place, Ken. 87. 87, she said, you're in first place, yeah. <laughs> Couple number one, Scott and Rachel Field, the 1025 gives you 35. Take over the lead. 87. 87, she said, 87, <laughs> sure. Couple three, Travis and Sarah, with 1025 to give you 35. Get it right, and you're in first place. 87. 87, she said, 87. <laughs> All right, couple number four, Antoine and Sarah with 1025 gives you 35, get it right, and you're tied three ways for the lead. 87. 87, she said, 92. That means we have a tie between couples number one and couples number three. Now, before the show, each couple predicted what their final score would be. The couple that comes closest to their final score will win. If both of the predictions are equally distant from the actual score, then the one that did not go over the final score will win. So let's find out. You got 35 points, couple number one. Scott, show me your prediction. You've got 35, you predicted how many? 43, you went over. Couple number three, Travis and Sarah, you have 35, you predicted 47. Couple number one, Yay! Scott and Rachel, your newlywed game grand prize winners. All right, Scott and Rachel, congratulations to you. Thanks to all of our couples. This is you, I'm Bob Eubanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.